I have to have it up so my wrist is locked. Okay? Now, when I go forward with the ball, okay, there's two sayings we have. Set, catch, and push, and hit in the middle of the push. Okay? So I'm going to set the racket, I'm going to wait till the ball comes to me, and then I'm going to push forward. But when I, when I push, that's when I make contact with the ball. So from my right foot, I'm going to use my outside leg, I'm going to push from my right foot to my left foot, and in between that, for the time I'm in the air, that's when I make contact. Ready, Wes, go. Right foot, push, left foot. Okay? You see, I move forward there. I set the racket, right foot, push, left foot. All right? And notice, my racket is moving about this much. Right? It's my footwork that's making the racket face move. Go ahead. Right, left, forward. Okay? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to set, push. Go ahead, Wes. Hit it a little harder. So if I go harder, I do the same exact thing. Doesn't matter. Hard, boom. It's the same thing every time. The racket's locked up. I'm in position. I'm going to push forward. Same thing on the backhand side. Going to set, push. Okay? Now, with the backhand, some people use a two-handed backhand volley. Raise your hand if you have a two-handed backhand volley. Okay? A couple of you. You need to make sure you have the left hand on the grip and it's continental grip too. All right? I don't promote a two-handed volley, but you have to hit it. Use the two continental grips so you get the same result. Otherwise, you're going to set. Again, the racket's in front of the body. It's not back behind here. If I'm back here, right, I have nothing behind my ball. Nothing. So I'm just going to try and force it over there. Okay? I need to make sure the racket's in front. Okay, here we go. Here, push. Now, I 